You guys rolling? Mm-hmm. Okay. Disruptive thought occurs when you encounter an idea that is outside of your comfort zone. We have patterns of thinking that keep us regarding the world in certain fixed ways. And our mental frames of reference highlight some things and delete other things from our awareness. Habits, frames of reference, comfort zones are very familiar blocks to creative thinking. When people are uh, delivering ways of thinking that, you know, is outside of your particular industry, what you've seen is that, oh, that's really cool. That provides a disruption. That can be an awesomely great thing because it provides a fresh perspective, breaks open a new way of thinking. That breaking open releases a kind of fresh energy, reaching an innovation. And one of the big problems in corporate North America and, and Europe is that people think innovation is an, a thinking activity. You don't innovate through PowerPoint, you innovate by building things. I think that we can foster a society that is much more innovative and creative if we get people's hands dirty and build prototypes, build examples of the stuff that you're trying to, to, to solve. Prototyping has several values. First of all, it makes your thinking tangible, so you can see what you think and you see what your solution could be. It provides other people a chance to be able to see your thinking and contribute to it. Even if a digital model of a building before it's physically created provides insight into the problem that you're trying to solve, the solution that you're trying to create. Prototypes not only show you what you know, more importantly, they reveal what you don't know and then continue that iterative process of figuring it out, keep working at it, evolve, really understanding it. It's that deep engagement of bringing the best of your imagination, creativity, everything you've got into figuring it out. That's what prototypes do. I think we have a hunger and a desire to make the world a better place. And we're now starting to see the breakthroughs come not from the industry experts necessarily, but people working from outside of these industries to come up with some insight or some connection or some way to deliver an unexpected solution.